Hello, Ban and a Box Lovers. Um, I had a question from Dennis Marsh, Marsh um, on how do you select styles in Ban and a Box? So I thought I would just do a quick video because I'm sure other people would like to, um, to know this. So, you know, there's lots of different ways of selecting styles, but I'm going to go through how I use it. Um, so disclaimers, there's lots of other ways, but I'm going to show you. So the first thing to know about styles is that they will depend on, um, firstly, on what version of Band in a Box you have purchased. And secondly, if you've purchased any extra styles or add-on styles separately from PG Music. So the, um, like the Pro version will come with 100 styles, the Mega will come with 300, and the Ultra will come with, I don't know, thousands. And then you can also uh, purchase these extra styles that PG Music brings out every now and then, which is basically um, existing real tracks that they have packaged together into styles in a progressive or an unusual way. So I always love the extra styles um, and I use them quite a lot, but yeah, it's up to you. I use pre, the pre-styles quite a lot. So this is how I generally do it. So the first thing to do when you come into the style menu, is just press the clear and that'll clear any filters that you've already got. And you will see all the styles that you've got in your version of Band in a Box listed here. And then you can filter based on category. So if you're a, a jazz singer, just filter on everything jazz, um, country, and just explore those, uh, those styles. And I would really recommend spending quite a lot of time exploring the styles that, um, that Band in a Box has and, and marking ones that you like as favorites and things like that, okay? so. First thing is to use the filter, and then you can also filter based on time signature. So the main ones that I use are the 4-4 the and, the, and then the waltz. Okay, so if you're specifically looking for a waltz, and then sometimes I use the 6-8. I don't generally use these funny timings, but um, you're welcome to, 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 to filter based on that. And then feel, you know, there's four different choices that you can choose from. So you've got an even and a swing. Um, even is on the beat and the swing sort of is, is a little bit of a syncopated rhythm. And um, you can either choose the faster, faster one or the slower laid back one. So you can filter based on that. A tempo, um, you know, if you're you if you if you uh, doing a ballad, then you might want like 65 to 85. And if you, you're doing more pop stuff, you might want 120 and then right up to 160 for Dixie Land, that kind of stuff. So that's a good filter to use depending on what style of music you're trying to do. And then type, this is quite an important one. So if you select real, no MIDI, you're only gonna get real styles um, displayed, okay? So again, this really depends on your, uh, your ban in a box that you purchased. Um, and you, the real styles are what you're paying for in your version of ban in a box. So the pro version, you're getting a hundred, uh, uh, styles with real tracks and the mega you're getting 300 so and then the the real with midi um you sometimes get styles there with uh with um midi instruments and then real drums and you can tell that by the color yeah so the green ones are the real tracks and then the yellow ones are midi so that one's got a midi muted electric guitar and then the other ones are all real and then if you're only working with midi then obviously you filter just on on midi um, and then other, you know, there's lots of other things you can explore. Just spend some time. Uh, favorites, recently used extra styles is a good one. If you if you do, you have you if you have purchased extra styles from uh, PG Music, then that's uh, that's a great filter to apply. The way that I normally do it, the very quick way, is um, this database uh, is a database of well-known songs that PG Music has put together. And what they've done is they've said, you know, if you're trying to record a cover of Looking Back by Nat King Cole, then the genre is light pop. And the key that the, the song was originally um, recorded in is E flat and the tempo is 60. The swing is a swing, uh, the feel is a swing eight uh, and the uh, time signature, I don't know what that is. Um, and what you can do is, you can double click any of these songs and what it'll do is it'll bring up, up styles that you can use if you are recording a cover of that song, 
okay? But what I use it for as well is in my songwriting. So if I have written some lyrics and I decide that um, the feel that I would like to, to go for is like Take Me Home Country Roads, for example. So that's the feel, that, the feel that of this new song that I've written. Um, you know, so I, 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 I type in the name of the song here, and if I double click it, it'll bring up styles in descending suitability if you're trying to record a cover or do a sound like song. Of, of country roads. I'm going to type in country roads. Yeah. At least the John Denver one. So you can see that there are a couple of different versions here of, of country roads because obviously there's thousands of covers of those. So if you're trying to do a cover like John Denver, then you're going to want to choose a folk style with a 4 4. Uh, um, it's time signature, even 1680. So if that's the, the feel that you go for, double click there and it'll bring up these styles in suitable uh, in descending order. So as you go down the list, you're less likely to sound like Take Me Home Country Roads. And you can, you can audition for each of those and decide which one you want. So then if I'm trying to do a cover like the Olivia Newton-John version, then I double click that. And obviously you get a, a completely different set of styles coming up here because it, 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 it's recorded in a different style. So Olivia Newton-John uses a, a country um, version of the song and it's a country classic. And obviously the, the, the uh, feel is even 16 and the tempo is around 90, 95, 100. So, um, and then, I don't know this version of the song, but if you double click that, you'll obviously get all the bluegrass styles, uh, the 4-4 swing and uh, 95. So that's how I use it. I also, you know, go through the styles quite a lot and pick out my favorites, mark them as favorites. And I tend to use the same styles again and again and again, but it really is worth spending quite a bit of time getting to know the styles that are in your version of Band in a Box, because it can save you a tremendous amount of time instead of picking out individual instruments that go together. Because the big advantage of these styles is they've been put together in a professional environment. So PG Music has got professionals mixing these styles perfectly. So the balance, and uh, you know, the, the panning and the balance and that will all be set for you. So when you select one of these styles, you don't have to start mixing and, you know, worrying about EQ and panning and levels and all that kind of stuff because it's all done for you by PG Music and you can start uh, using that style. Another, another big tip is if you are songwriting and um, you, you find the style that you, that you want to use for your song, just go and check out the load uh, demo song because what those are, is those are um, chords? Oh dear, I don't know why I've got that. Though uh, what PG Music has done is that they have put together demo songs that with chords that will suit that particular style. So obviously, jazz chords are different to country country chords, or different to pop chords, or different to rock chords. So they've put together these song demos um, with chord uh, progressions that suit that particular style. So as a starting point for your songwriting, it's a great way to save time. So if I go load song demo, okay, it's gonna put in here chords that will suit a song if you're writing it in this folky 16th banjo style, okay? So it's all your major chords. You can see here, it's uh, C, F, you know, there's no minors, <laughs> or there's one minor there. But uh, there's no D sevenths and, and all that kind of stuff. If you select a jazz uh, style, and um, so let's just select a jazz style. Okay, everything jazz, jazz swing. Let's select this crooner. And I go load song demo, let's select any of these. I'm going to get vastly different looking chords than the folk ones. You can see we've got flat chords, we've got minor sevenths, we've got major sevenths and all sorts of things there. So 
So that's also a very good tip if you're a songwriter um, or if you're trying to uh, take a song and record it in a way that's completely different to the original. So, you know, that, that's a, a great way of doing that. So I hope this helps, Dennis, and let me know. Thanks.